Hi, I'm author and speaker Susan Yates. Today we're talking about the topic of overwhelming guilt. I'm so glad to be with you today. Recently, a friend of mine said, Susan, I feel guilty all the time. It's like a heavy weight. What should I do about this? Well, I thought this was a really good question because I could really identify with it. Sometimes we just carry heaviness. I have found it helpful in considering these feelings to think in two different categories. One is conviction and one is condemnation. You know, one of the primary jobs of the Holy Spirit is to convict us of our sin in order that we might confess and be forgiven. 1 John 1, 9 says, if we confess our sins, God is faithful and righteous to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. There is no sin, no sin that God can't forgive. So conviction is really important because it's one of the jobs of the Holy Spirit. Condemnation might sound like this. I'm a lousy mother. I'm a miserable wife. I'm not even a good friend. I'm never gonna be able to get through this. I'm not gonna amount to anything in my career. Those are general words of condemnation. Conviction is usually specific. It's God saying to us, Susan, you shouldn't have spoken to your husband in that manner, and you need to ask him to forgive you. Or you shouldn't have lied about that thing. Maybe you thought it was little, but big lies result after a collection of little lies. And you need to ask for forgiveness and make that right. Those are specific convictions that are usually from the Holy Spirit. Condemnation, on the other hand, is often general. And it just sinks us under the heavy weight of guilt. It's often whispers from the enemy. And it's so important to recognize the enemy's voice. And to remember what Paul said to the Romans in chapter 8, verse 1. For there is therefore no condemnation for those of us who are in Christ Jesus. So when I start to have a pity party and condemn myself, I quickly ask, is this a conviction from the Holy Spirit? Or is this a general condemnation, which is probably from the enemy? And if it's from the enemy, I just speak aloud to him and I say, you have no right to condemn me. God has forgiven me. God delights in me. And you start speaking the truth of scriptures out loud. That helps me into the situation. So I hope this is helpful for you. It's really helped me to distinguish between conviction from the Holy Spirit and condemnation, which is often the result of our humanness or its whispers of the enemy. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Thanks for joining me today. This is actually one of the topics I write about in my book, Risky Faith. I'd love for you to have a copy. You can click on the link below and get it straight from Amazon. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.